Welcome everyone. This is Elysis, which is a game that had just come out. No one's played it yet. I was really surprised when I was looking on live stream. This is also currently live stream, so that's why I'm talking to peoples. Uh, I have honestly absolutely no idea what to expect from this game. Don't know nothing about it, so we'll be going on to a new game. Does audio level sound good to you guys on live stream and all that? Elysis. It's Elysis, you know. I don't know. That's probably it. Uh, new game. We'll go straight into this. I think I should turn the settings down. I know I turned everything on. And usually, this is the first game I played on my PC that makes my the game actually lag for me. I have never had a game lag for me, so this is interesting. Let's go to options. Hmm. I wonder if... What is it? Non sensitivity. Let's try turning off uh, motion blur and see what happens. Apply, resume. This is honestly the first game that's made my whole PC lag. So the game's looks are really interesting, though. So let's go back to options. I, I can probably turn this on. It's probably the ambient dynamic shadows, but shadows are cool. I don't want to turn things off. It's the first game on this PC thing, and this is a new game, so it's probably all high-tech my PCs. Why is it lagging? Could it be because I'm streaming? No, it's probably something graphic related. Let me turn all this off and see what happens. I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Does it make my performance any better? Kind of? This game must be very... I mean, the game looks really nice aesthetically, but I'm like, ah, because I want to turn stuff off. Oh, I'm sad because this is honestly the first game that I've had any trouble running on my PC. Interesting, interesting. Like, ever since I had it last July, so... But it's also a new game, so... Let's see, but then again, all the new games I've had no trouble with so far. It looks great, as I said. Graphically, this game looks really nice, but... Alright, resume this. Yeah, unfortunately the graphics might be too much for me to handle. I'm just going to take a look. I guess we can have a little bit of lag while we're trying this out. Or not. It's not that laggy, but I'm just kind of like, eh, I want it to look super smoky smooth. As we try to figure stuff out. Options. There's not too much to customize. Maybe if I make the resolution smaller. Which unfortunately I might have to do. Let me go and set this. Actually, what was I setting on before anyways? I guess I'll try the smaller screen idea and hope that works. Except I would still like to have a widescreen. 860. 1,152 by 100-something. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'd like it to have it at this resolution, so I guess there's not too much to do. Apply. Well, this is disappointing. I want it silky smooth. Are you secretly the Zoan? Shh. shh. So, anyways, though, this is probably gonna lag a little bit as we go through it. I'm just. I guess we'll do a test, and I can record this later if I want to. Just made a test. That's a shame. It's lagging though, because it looks so nice. I don't want to turn anything off because everything looks. Look, it's like details and spider webs, even. That looks like a really nice spider web. I know it looks like they put a fuck lot of money into this, so why the fuck has no one heard of it? It's my opinion on it right now. Over here, okay, the game runs a little bit better over here. No, never mind, I just went back down to crap. I have to focus, I'm gonna be focusing on that because it's the first thing this has happened to. So we have a house door right here, which is not locked. Let's get some duck in my crevice into this darkness. Do I have a flashlight? There's a strong smell of wine here, but it's pretty dark. I need to get a light on. Maybe I can use this old generator. What old generator? I can't see with crap. Maybe outside? Oh, there's a the generator. Turn the power on. It's out of gas. I need to find something to get it working. Probably a gas can. If I do say so myself, that's a distinct possibility. Okay, duck under this, because we're looking for a gas can. Is there anything inside this bucket? Bucket, bucket. Well, you know, you could use this bucket to go get some gas, I guess. So here we have a bucket. Now, there's gas. Does it have anything in it? 
doesn't really sound like it has anything in it, but maybe it's a solution to the puzzle. Maybe I'm supposed to go out and get some gas somewhere. This looks too rusty to actually have gas in it. Uh, well, I got gas here. Uh, well, is it still there? I'm gonna guess it's yeah. There you are. It's out of gas. I need to find something. How about gas? Guess not. Back to looking for gas. It's okay. Gas prices are going up. It's kind of hard to stumble upon these days. Uh, I guess we can go down there, or we can go and look around. Yeah, I'm going down to the village. That seems like the most viable option. No, there's a lot of shit you can pick up in this game. If I wanted to have a wheel, I could fucking have myself a wheel. But I'm going to fucking throw it over because I can. Ha ha! Down the creek you go! And you thought it had something on me. It didn't have anything on me. Alright, so let's go down to the dark, mysterious path of where I'm le being led to. Hmm. Pretty. For some reason, the graphic styles make me think of something. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Can I open up this window? Nope. Can I go inside the door? Yeah. Nope. It's locked. Of course. I need to remember, survival horror, everything is locked. You think that there'd be... Wait, did I skip? Maybe I didn't have to do what I was doing. Maybe that's just all a side quest. What the hell is this? A scooter bike. Looks like there's some gas. Aha! Gas can, or bucket, or what the fuck I'm getting gas with. I think I solved me a puzzle. And yes, there's a run button, so I should probably take advantage of that. Run me, run! Alright, look, there was the wheel I passed by earlier. Okay. So, first of all, the gas can. That sounds like the more accurate decision, if I had to say so myself. I think it's more laggy up here than it does down there. Probably because there's a bigger stretch view of everything. Now, let me pick up this. Oh, I think I have to hold down the bunder. There we go. I got the gas can. I'm bringing it with me. We're going places. No, I need to duck under this. We're going places. I need to go get the gas from downstairs so I'm able to use it on my fucking... No, no. Stop. No, stop. Stop. Oh, Jesus. It's like... <laughs> it's fucking possessed. Well, I still have it with me, though. Here we go. Here we go. Now, give me some of that there gas, man. I know, but how do I get the gas in he from here into there into where? How do you guys think I get gas from one thing to another? Maybe I get the bucket? I'm going to leave you right there. I'm going to go get the bucket. I need to drain it, maybe. How would I drain it? Do I just open this up? Uh, no, that's not working. Alright, looks like there's some uh, big mystery of how we use items on other items right now. I guess we need to figure it out right now. Maybe I need to look up the controls. If I pause, I can see a controls option, which I have not looked at yet. So I guess I better take advantage of that. Controls. Okay, move forward. Strafe left, strafe right. Got it. Uh, flashlight, but I have not had that yet. Crouch, got that. Map. Inventory. I. Move, move back. Okay. J is my journal. Let me see what that gets me right now. As I was traveling to my home village, a rock fell on my car and ruined it. After following the path near the crash, I found a village where a woman was being held captive in a locked room. She mentioned that one of her captives said a phrase in Latin. In Venovratus, this means the truth is in the wine. Maybe I can use this as a clue to find the key to the room. As I enter into the dark basement, I sense a strong odor of wine. It must be a cellar. I need to get the lights on. There's old generator in the basement, but it seems to be out of gas. And here's what I can use for gas. Maybe it's one of these? I want to interact with you. I want to be with you. Feel with... What's, what's in my inventory? Nothing. But my journal. Hmm... I get the bucket, but I don't think it's going to do me much more good. I mean, it's obvious this is the solution to the puzzle. I just need to figure out how the fuck to suck the gas free of that moped, whatever, so... Is there a door there? Nope, it's locked. There, well, there was a door there. It's just not what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so my handy-dandy bucket. You might be my only solution. There we go. Bucket is our friend, bucket is our friend, bucket is our friend to the very end. Now we take a few more turns this way. No, stop, stop acting up, stop acting up. There we go. Which means if we go over here and use the magic of Mr. Bucket, 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 use yourself on this. 
Yes, I know there has to be gas inside. How do I use the gas? I don't I don't even know what it wants me to do with this. Alright. Maybe it's a pipe or a hose somewhere? I don't know. Yes, I might be looking. That would make sense if the solution was something like that. And I guess there's a dark forest I need to go into, so we might as well explore the dark forest. The game seems to be running much better now anyway. The dark shadows of the night. I guess we're crossing over this way. Ooh, a creek that we probably won't be crossing. Or will we? Can I go into the creek? Yes, I can. Ah, I can barely see, though. Holy flip, I can't see well at all. Guess I'm going up here into the forest trail? No, it looks like I'm following the creek path. Where's this going to? And the water effects look nice. I guess a uh, waterfall. Am I hearing something? What is that? What is Aha! A gas thing. And I knew where it was because it was making a sound. Nice touch there. I'm a very original. Very original. Alright, so I guess I'll pick this up. An empty container. This could be useful. Haha, -ha, puzzles solving themselves down by the river on the Huckleberry Road. I'm going to walk through the forest and see what I find. Running through the forest, running through the forest. It's really dark in the middle of the forest. Alright, so we make our way back the way that we came. I can't exactly climb cliff sides. So I guess I'm going to be going this way. Upwards we go. So now that we have done our exploring OCD and found that there is indeed a gas can, it's not one of the items that we thought it was. Let's now do this. Now I let me pull out my good old gas can. I need something to help me extract the gas first. Aha, someone's right. We do need a gas thing. We need a pipe or something. Uh, let me put this away. Pack my inventory with you. You go. So, uh, pipe. We got a gas can. Where the fuck are we gonna get a pipe? Is it still here in the middle of the forest? Was it up above? I guess I'm gonna see if I can find anything out here, but I kind of have a bad feeling that's gonna be really hard to spot something. Ooh. That is a nicely rendered plant. They spent a lot of time on the graphics in this game. Especially for an indie game that no one's heard of. Hmm, nothing at the waterfall. That's definitely a no sir redoer, but. Hmm. Going through the water. I don't think it screams amnesia. I mean, obviously there's some similarities that can be made, but I, I think that this game is more like just your typical adventure horror game. Not in the bad way, though. In a good way so far, but yeah. I guess I'm following this way of the stream. It's getting pretty dark. My pants are wet as hell. But is there anything down this creaky middle road? I mean, you would think the creek is the point of interest, but is there anything like a pipe or more? Not really a pipe, but I'm thinking more like one of those uh, hoses. It seems to be going somewhere, hopefully, but... And the current goes this way. Fortunately, there is a tree that now blocks her way. And there's no noise to signify there would be a pipe nearby like there was for the bucket. I'm guessing that the uh, the hose river we're looking for is probably in a more obvious spot. We just need to find its point of interest. Dance and joy triumph. We're going up here. Nothing really over here. Well, this isn't really gaining us much anywhere, so I guess... Wait, 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 what's this? An axe! Wait, uh... Ah, ha, ha, no, 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 no! Silly tree. Ah, just a few trees, it's okay. Trees can have fun, too. As I hit them with their smaller log brethren. Why, hello there, Mr. Log. Meet your smaller log brethren. They're like a couple. But he was rejected and left down to the cold. What a poor, poor sap. It's funny because sap's coming out of trees and I'm going to shut up. So we got ourselves an axe that will hopefully come in handy. I suppose. Running through the forest where the hell is a hose? Maybe I'm supposed to axe the moped? I don't know. That seems like a very non-poetic answer to the question at hand. But, you know, maybe. I'm going up here. I know it was a terrible pun, it's part of the fun. 
Climbing back up we go. There's no hose to be seen. I'm even looking super carefully right now, but nope. Uh, I guess I'll try axing the moped. Ha, 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 funny. Uh, let's see. So we got the moped. Wait, wait, is that ho- No, wait, that's just a wheel. Okay, go to our inventory. Uh, axe, which is not going to work, but I'm going to definitely try. I don't need to smash it. Yes, you do, bro. You don't even know. Okay, put that back. Maybe I was supposed to smash something else. Actually, a theory is coming to my head. This probably isn't the solution. Well, first I'm going to look up here. I'm thinking that maybe the hose was left somewhere up here back in Lagsville. I don't understand why this area lags so bad, but then the area down there doesn't. Probably because of draw distance. But, uh, let's see. Is there a... Hose! Ha 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 ha! That's what you get for investigating. Anyways, though, uh, let's go back down then. Back to Lagsville and get back to where we came from. Hey, it's where we came from. We have a hose for you, bro, Nick. Now we go through here, we pick up the hose, and pour it into the good old gas machine. Okay, now I need something to pour the gas in. Yep, 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 okay. Which is this. Real life simulation, we got ourselves a good old gas stand. So now time to head back up. Run past all the lag. I'm running past all the lag. Up, down, left, right, there's a flea floating in nowhere. That's cool. Now we put gas inside the gas generator that we duck into down here. Alright. Now we take our inventory, take our full gas, even has it in big text on it, full. And onward it goes. And thus there was light. Hmm, this is a very small workshop if I do say so. What do we need from here? Um, suction cup? Can I break the bottle? Can I break the bottle? Please tell me I can break the bottle. Nope, it bounces. So yes, there is a lot of wine inside the wine cellar, but am I looking for anything more? Maybe I can click one of these and see what happens. Hmm, this barrel seems empty. Guess you have nothing to say about that. There has to be a reason why this barrel seems empty. Can I grab the handle or something? Maybe I need to, <coughs> excuse the pun here, ax it a question. Let's go over here, pull it out. Yep, I was right. Inside we have a key. Of course. This must be the key to the locked room. Someone is coming. Maybe it's one of them. I'll close the door and turn off the generator. Which is done automatically in a cutscene. What does one of them mean, though? Hmm. Person in a cloak. They don't seem to be very happy to be here, but they're already on their way. And off they go. Toodles. Which must mean... I think he left just now. Well, we can definitely hope so, can't we? Another cutscene. And we're knocked out. That's the end of the demo, being incredibly disappointed. That's the end of the demo. Eliasis. At EliasGame.com. Anyways, though, that was the demo of Eliasis. I think it seems like a good game. Graphically, it's quite amazing for an indie game. To the point that it's the only game I've played on my PC so far that's had some lag in it. But, as I said, I'm intrigued by it. I'll probably be getting the full game, but I don't know when I'm going to be getting it. So this has been the demo. For YouTube purposes, I'm going to stop and start to see you stream peoples in a second.